Bonjour et bienvenue à la vie de la mort. <laughs> I can pun in French. Right, what are we doing? Um, probably talking to people. I assume we can't go back in there. I can't remember what happened. Well, I know what happened. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if we've done any of this. I think I just wrapped up, didn't I? So let's talk and speak. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, both of them, really. Um, this fellow. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No, he just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. And the waitress? What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once over, as you Americans say. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Right. Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You're confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. <laughs> See you later, sir. Okay. Sergeant. Right, so... The sergeant was a scrawny man in his fifties who resembled a constipated chicken. Okay. I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. Oh, it was just that. It was broken, all right. <laughs> the window is broken. The table had been overturned by the explosion. Can I put it right? I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. I think so then. Let's look the at girl the girl. presented a confident but sullen mask to the world. An expression more suited to the face of a delinquent youth. This can... No, I want to talk. I want to talk to her. No, talk. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. Don't hold it against him. On vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off. Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard, from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. Mm. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Yes, the camera. Gee, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account, minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. <laughs> Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. Mmm. Yeah, because she's thinking, it, yeah, it's the costume person, he, the mime from before. Which, of course, it makes sense that he's a recurring character, because a mime is a terrible thing to waste. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you knew the fellow? Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Oh! I've reopened the clown. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. And now two. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Well, somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. So, one in Italy, one in Japan, and two in France. Hmm. Hmm. Grumpy McGrumperson. I, I can't remember much about him. He seems evil. He's got a goatee and everything. And he's evil. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. Mm. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Mm. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? 
And he's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. Yes, well done. Uh, clown fellow. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Mm, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on phone with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. See you later. Farewell. Ooh. Oh, it is just this again, isn't it? I met a very, a very cute photojournalist called Nicole Callard. She works for La Liberté, but not for the sister papers, uh, L'Egalité uh, and La Fraternité. <laughs> oh, someone should really... But she didn't give me a number! Hooray! I should, I should stop punning. I really should. Do I just follow her? I mean, there's nothing... Ooh. I'm picking up a chair. Oh, no, newspaper. Uh, Professor Ostwald, Gagnon de uh, Prix Nobel, so a professor won the Nobel Prize. Uh, returning, it's like the Passage à Paris. So he's coming back to Paris. For Donny Ancour? Hmm. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. It's, it can't be that hard. What, you, you've got... Well, how, well, where are you going Eastern? Are you saying Baltic or Balkans? I mean, they're not unpronounceable. Les experts... Les experts arrivant à la conférence de, de lo, I don't know. The leading article referred to the vis Yeah, I know, I know. Um, oh, I can only look at that. The column was devoted exclusively to rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Uh, les toutes dernières rumeurs et potin du, st du star. So I assume that's all of the... I don't know, rumors and gossip. Um, assassinat, assassinat brutal de Pierre Cachon, la nation, la nation en état de choc. Um, so the, assassin, the brutal assassination of Pierre Cachon, the nation, uh, yeah. The nation is in shock, I think. <laughs> Guessing. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnet, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. That was weird. Maybe, maybe they've just added a little bit in the director's cut. Quite possible. Hmm. Salah Edine, 1345. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. Yes. I noticed the writing. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. Right. Okay. Ooh, yoink. We yoinked it, did. We did. Ooh, we can come out all directions. Let's go and talk to this fellow. I don't know why. He's there. Let's talk to him. The muscular workman wore a morose expression, like a silent warning to leave him to get on with his job. Well, tough. I'm going to talk to you anyway. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Uh, did you see the man in the overcoat? Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. <laughs> I could have knocked his block off. Uh. 
Uh, ooh, it's more about him. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. <laughs> and the clown? Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Huh! Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Clown. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. It'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Uh, no, let's not show things I gotta to people go. yet. Don't let me keep you. So if he's not noticing things, it was a battered metal toolbox. Hey, stop that! Get away from there! What do you think you're doing? I was admiring your toolbox. <laughs> Are we? Had a good look, have you? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut. Okay, I get your point. But he noticed that, eh? Set into the huge gate was a smaller access door. See, I'm not sure if I meant to go here or if I meant to go through the... Well, no, we'll keep going here. This is where we kind of led, kind of led to first. Actually. The door was securely locked. Uh, Kiki. Well, there's another little passageway. We can go through here. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Um... The drain pipe looked as if it would bear my weight. Okay, that's interesting. Rush it, r rummage through the garbage. You may find something interesting. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, my first instinct was to say that. It was a plastic crate. Yeah, right. Interact with it. There was nothing of interest. Okay. Well, we'll I want to do the, this one last because I think that's probably the way I we're going. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. Well, yeah, yeah, it was obvious. I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. <laughs> the drain pipe hung limp and useless. Well done. Okay, so, didn't go that way, that's also obvious. There's nothing around here, Ooh, no. So, the sewers. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. What about your human hands? <laughs> But he must have gone out this way. Hmm. 
It was a battered old trash can. I said, let's see if there's something in this now, because it may have just been that the cat I'd had out. it with sticking my nose into French trash cans. There might be something... Okay. It was a plastic crate. Okay. There was nothing of interest. So I can't do... It was an iron cover concealing the entrance to a drain or sewer. Yes, 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 I know. It's a manhole. God, that's not how you get to these, is it? Ah. Uh. Hmm, there's nothing there. Maybe I could... Hmm, yeah, maybe I do have to talk to him about some of these other bits and pieces. Hi, can you spare a few minutes? What do you want now? <coughs> Sorry, toolbox. What's in the toolbox? What's in the toolbox? As if you didn't know. Tools. What's the big deal about tools, anyhow? <gasps> They're cool. Tools are civilization. You don't say. That's right. Tools are what distinguish us from other animals. Who are you calling an animal? I've met your sword before, okay. looking down your nose at me because I'm working class, huh? I've a good mind to knock your block off. Uh, well, yes, what's in the toolbox? Tools. I'd go with tools. What kind of tools do you keep in your box? Huh? You really are interested in tools? Sure, like I said, tools are... Yeah, civilization. So you keep saying. <laughs> so are you going to show them to me? I might. Why, you? Aw, oh, come on. Just a little peek. I've got work to do. Find someone else to bother. Oh, I can keep asking. That's going to end well. Um, uh, let's... No. Let's stick with the toolbox. Do you have a tool for lifting manhole covers? Proceed some more. it happens, I do. Cool. Lend it to me, uh, just for a few minutes. No. Oh, come on. No. Get your own. Uh, can I give you something for it? Let me explain what I'm going to do with your manhole lifting tool. You lift a manhole. Let me explain what I'm going to do with my peak. Oh, hey, forget it. I'll come back when you're in a better mood. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, let's give him the uh, calling card then. Take a look at this. You told me you weren't a cop. Don't shout about it. I'm working undercover. Who are you looking for? That's confidential. Uh... The clown? You... Like, that's not even... That was, uh, I don't want off in the newspaper. I gotta go. Don't let me keep you. I'm probably gonna have to, though, is the problem. 